What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm and we're here with Sandbox Mode and Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and I'm your worst tactician ever, Demo Storm. So, I'm gonna go with the first thing that I was told to do and that's Chicken Man, chicken man, man versus Chicken Man Man. I have no... They walk so derp. Who will win this fight though? Like... <laughs> their eyeballs are literally in front of their faces and they're just rolling it out down there chicken insanity but this is what happens when you have these types of fights you know what i mean it's very balanced per se i don't know red looks like it's you know dropping more blues than blue dropping red but who knows who's actually winning this fight it almost looks like a stalemate because they're just punching each other by chest bumping i don't know blue might have an advantage here just swinging his arms around. Look at all the chickens. Oh my god. Oh, I wish the cursor wasn't always there, but can't help it. Oh, red one. And chicken death all around. Alright, so the next fight. We're going to go with uh, like a standard battle kind of formation. We're going to put two catapults here. We're going to go with... I wish it would just... <sighs> Gotta click... Here? No? No? I wish I could like, click a mirror button. That would be very enjoyable. And then we're gonna go with... Uh... No, 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 no. Follow, follow me on this one. All right, and we're gonna put that up against the barbarian tribe. I was gonna do a mirror, but we'll try the barbarian tribe. So we'll see what happens. So basically, we'll just do you know, the Romans versus the Germans back in the day, and we're losing all of our spears. Every single spear was fallen. So I think the barbarians are gonna take this fight. If I'm not, oh, never mind. Catapults. Catapults will win this fight for us. And there goes red. So it shows some type of tactical presence will win a battle. And we're going to clear that. I'm also going to move these spearmen backwards. We'll see if anything can beat this formation. Whatever, for the space, it will get plugged up anyways. And we're going to go with the samurai now. All right, are you guys all going to drop your spears now? Yes. Some type of glitch here. I don't know what's going on with the spearmen. Maybe they're too close together? All right, so the samurai are getting just train wrecked. <laughs> As you can see, the catapults just roll through. All right, let's do it without the catapults and I'm gonna lose the spearmen? Or put them farther back. Here, we're just gonna do a staggered spear line. Will that fix the spears? Or I did samurai, I guess. So we're just going to do samurai with shields versus just pure samurai mashing. It looks like the shields will always beat the samurai. It just gives them the defense against the major charge and the nodachi. Uh, nodachi were two-handed long katana blades for anybody who doesn't know what a nodachi is. All right, let's try uh, a viking... Vikings versus our shields. And I'm going to try and get these spears to work. No idea why they're not working. Oh my god. <sighs> Anger. Alright. Vikings. Or is this just a... No, we're just going to go spears. Alright, so the Vikings should have the advantage using shields, but you never know. Alexander the Great did go with spears for most of his battles. And it looks like it just complete annihilation of the spearmen. Oh man, he's just waving that spear around. It reminds me of The Last Samurai. Again, this game does have a lot of moments like that. And you get used to it. Um, hmm. Here, we're going to brawl against Chicken Man Man. With a Viking. I'll throw a couple of poachers on the flanks. And let's throw a Hawacha.
They're like rocket arrows. I don't know who can win this. I don't know if the chicken man is too strong. I mean, we do have the poachers. We're able to pick off some of these chicken man. The regular ones, but man, is he doing damage. And those, you know, the things he poops out have a lot of damage points as well. Or health points per se. And our guys are not even able to fight the main, you know, fight. It looks like chicken man's going to win this one. Oh, chicken man just annihilating the Vikings. All right, maybe we need some more heavy artillery. We're going to try and make this this whole system work here. Um, hmm. We'll go with Ballista. And yeah, we'll give our guys a peasant wall. Yeah, blow those guys away. It seems like our archers are just team killing. Like, look at this guy just taking every arrow. Ooh, this fight is not going to end well. I can actually get hit by one. Yeah, Ballista actually direct hit. Shoot at a higher arch. Oh, you, you're screwed. The chickens have reached you. Oh, man, he's screwed. Look at that. Just gymnastics right there. Yeah, you're dead, dude. You're real dead. He was able to fire one last blow. And the chicken swarm is in. And it's dominating. Oh, man. Look at all the chickens. Oh. Oh, man. Wait, we want blue one? Okay, that's a blue victory. All right, we'll go against... Yeah, we'll see how that works. We should win this, but I never know. You never know with more chickens on the field. Each chicken is like almost like a fucking wrecking ball. All right, so if they swarm just right, they're able to win. Seems like poachers are a good way to take them out as well. Oh, there's the ballista. Now we have a flying man. Oh my god, the Vikings almost got completely wiped out. Alright, let's just do something nutty. The swirl of death. Samurai swirl. Oh man. Oh, look at that battle. The poachers are just trying to fight off the horde. The ballista should be picking up quite a lot of kills, though. Like, look at the pile, though. Oh, there goes our final viking. And it looks like this battle is going to go to the samurai. Hmm. I don't know, though. It's not looking good for the samurai now. Ballistas just have this OP nature, I guess. Oh, <laughs> just ran them over. So this this strategy that we have built right now is working. Let's see. How about just the shitload of Hawacha? I want to see the devastation that's going to output. Almost. Almost. So they automatically win... You know, blue automatically wins, but did t almost take down the entire army. So let's just go with, uh, trying to, f oh man, the lag I just gave myself. All right, let's see if anything can beat these guys now. Ooh, look at the battlefield. All the arrows. Down. <laughs> this Viking. Gone. Absolutely gone. Ugh. That battlefield is something. Alright. Let's see.
This is something. Archer spam. Team killing each other, but I mean, it's not going to work. I skip out on the archer spam. Let's see what musket lines. All right, musket versus musket. Musket. Wow. My lingo. Lingo. Ooh. That first volley just did damage to the blue. Who's going to win this? I kind of like this this warfare. Like, I can't wait for good multiplayer games with some uh, musket warfare. I enjoy muskets. All right, since blue lost basically easily, we're going to give a cannon. All right, initial volleys. I think we're going to have a lot more guys, so we'll see what happens. I mean, the cannon should do work. Oh, that guy went airborne? It's not exactly exciting for that man. Yeah, reds seem to have more guys, maybe? I don't really want to count out every single soldier. What if I gave... Hmm. These guys will probably die in the first volley, but whatever. We'll see what happens. First volleys. Yep, first volley took them out. But I mean, they, they soaked up all the damage from the first volley, so we'll see if that's actually a win. We want blue to win this one, because red's undefeated right now in this musket stage. Ooh, the cannon got taken out early. And it seems like taking that initial volley, the Vikings are going to help the blues win this fight. Ugh, these muskets are accurate as hell. Alright, so the Vikings in the beginning actually help the reds win all right we'll try japan reds can you win this one back oh the shake Ooh. i like this warfare across the river Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Well, of course, we have to go with the last samurai charge now. Alright, we're gonna push my performance to the max. Alright, load. Initial volley. Not as many casualties as they would want to take. And there's their friendly fire. This is where the samurai get to, you know, reign supreme. It's close range. It looks like only that left flank was able to get in. I mean, they did some work. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, we're going to give them an extra line of samurai. This might actually win them the fight. Come on, come on, samurai. We'll see what can happen exactly. I'm going to turn down my microphone a little bit so you guys don't have to hear the keyboard as much. Ooh, the samurai are just getting undown though in those initial volleys. Oop, they got in again. I don't know where this guy's going. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh, he got the kill. And friendly fire killed another one. But I mean, we have five reds left. But we're going to end here, guys. I only have so much time tonight. I have to go to the gym and, you know, do my thing. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Have a demo, guys. Have a wonderful night.